Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks. And today I'm gonna to show you how to change the YouTube app's default home tab and increase max resolution. Now the YouTube app starts out on this stupid home tab thing, which in my opinion isn't very useful. It shows you the videos that YouTube thinks you wanna see, but they're usually way off base. To me, it would be way better if YouTube would just open directly to your subscription page and show you all your favorite channels. And besides all that, I've been noticing that YouTube defaults to 144p resolution lately, which is just terrible. So to fix all this, developer Mikinoshi resurrected an abandoned and exposed module and made it compatible with the latest version of YouTube. That of course means you'll need to be rooted with the exposed framework installed to get this one going. But aside from that, setup is pretty simple. To get started, head to the download section in your exposed installer app, then search your 2 plus, and that's all one word. From there, just tap the top result, then swipe over to the versions tab and hit the download button next to the most recent entry. Within a few seconds, Android's installer interface should come up, so tap install on this screen. When that's finished, you'll get a notification from exposed telling you that the module needs to be activated and that a reboot is needed. So tap the activate and reboot button here, then I'll get right back with you. When you get back up, go ahead and open your two plus from your app drawer. From here, the interface is pretty straightforward. To change the default tab that the app opens to, just select default pane. There are several good choices in here, but I'm going to go with subscriptions to make the app open to my list of favorite channels. Now one thing I should note though, is that if you want it to open to a specific playlist or channel, you'll need to find the URL for that channel or playlist. But aside from that, you can use this next entry to set the maximum default quality. It says maximum because not all YouTube videos are available in all these resolutions. But once you pick one here, that'll be the targeted resolution. So it should be a lot higher quality than just 144p. Then one last thing is this override device support option. If the YouTube app doesn't seem to want to show videos in your phone's full native resolution, you can tick this box and YouTube will offer all available resolutions for every video. So with everything set up now, your YouTube experience should be a lot more enjoyable. For one thing, when you launch the app, it'll skip straight to your preferred tab instead of that bogus home tab. Even better, when you start playing a video, it should automatically load at the resolution you set as long as the video you're watching is available in that quality. So it fixes two of the biggest annoyances with YouTube on Android. You gotta love that. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article on our brand new site at GadgetHacks.com. As always though, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.